I have a long day tomorrow, but the next day I'm going to Cleveland to hand press your merch. So if anyone wants a rents do hoodie, um, rents do t-shirt, Avani t-shirt, I have multiple styles, so go check my website and I will be hand pressing your order in a video and I'll post me hand pressing it because now I'm working with a small business. So if you want to support a small business, why so far? Because she's a small business. Why so far? Because she's a small business. Um, and she's the one who has like, she's doing my merch now. Instead of me, instead of me um, like using a manufacturer from like a big ass factory, now I'm working with a small business. She's a young mom. She's around my age and she makes t-shirts and stuff. So if you guys want me to press shirts for you guys or a hoodie, rents do, if you want my merch, go get it in my bio. Get the merch in my bio now. So then by Thursday, I will print it on a video. Thank you. I also posted the pictures on Instagram. Is she paying you for what? I'm paying her. Like, half of what I make goes to her because she makes the t-shirts. She'll eventually have them ship out to me, but I'm just going to go there one time to film a video there. So if you want your shirt hand-pressed me, because I'm only doing it one time, I'm only going out there one time. If you want it hand-pressed by me, if you want your merch pressed by me, created by me, my own blood, sweat, and tears... Click the link in my bio, get some merch, because I'm going to be making it on Thursday in her, um, factory. I don't know who Gabby is. Thank you. Who's Gabby Egan? Touched by Allison, period. A TikToker who lives in Ohio? No, I'm. It's a small, 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 small business. No, it's a small, 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 small business that I'm supporting. So if you want your merch, oh, I don't know how that is. How she got out of a factory? She has a little, like, like, not a factory, but she has, like, the thing to press the hoodies, like, to print out the merch, all that. She has, like, hoodies in stock. She makes custom stuff, too, if you ever reached out to her. I'm going to be posting her this week. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I was about to get off. I was about to get off. But okay. But okay. My hair looked beautiful right after the shower. You didn't put your curl cream in. And I didn't even put the curl cream in, but look, it's like curly as fuck without the curl cream. Chat, double tap the screen, man. Get to dropping, shit a lot. Get to dropping. How's everybody doing? Are you good? Why are you no. Huh? What's wrong? I'm just sick of being targeted. Oh, people just bullying you and stuff like that? Yeah, and they're like, oh, well, Allison's the bully, bitch. I don't fucking bully people for no reason no more. <laughs> Yeah, actually, be minding her own business, chat. People would just be talking about her for. And people are like, oh, she started body shaming these people first. 
The only time I've ever body shamed someone first, and I wouldn't even consider it body shaming, this girl had her yiddies out in my face, and I told her to put them away, and then they started screen recording after I told her to put it away, and I said they looked weird. Because I don't, I don't want mine hanging. Y'all would be weirded out if I had mine hanging. Mine hang. I don't like to show y'all that. And no, wait with the rose. I just told her, like, put those away. She like that. So, like, I guess I'll be concerned about you. But the whole thing with, like, Kayla and Coco and them, that was, they started with me first. I don't even want to make it a group discussion, though. So. Chat, I got some of y'all orders here, and I get some more tomorrow through the UPS. Um, I'm going to go ship them out. I got a, a hoodies and shirts right here, but I get some more tomorrow. I got some of y'all hoodies and shirts right here. I got a whole nother box in, on the way tomorrow. I'll pack them up. Shopify is acting up, but if Shopify acts up and it doesn't print the labels, I'll go I'll go uh, ship them myself. I'll just go uh, I'll go send them through USPS. Since I, you feel me? I'll go ship them out myself, basically. And I'm going to send you guys a... Uh, why is it so hot in here? Like number. I don't know. Chat, double tap. Angel, thank you for the heart puff. How you been? Hey, Angel, I got merch. Click the link in my bio, love. I got merch now. Look. These are orders that people have placed. I got to pack them up and shit like that. Some shirts, some hoodies and stuff. I got a couple more dropping tomorrow. Click the link in my bio and get you a hoodie, chat. What's Angel, the temperature? Grab you a hoodie right now. 60. It's my, look at my face. It's obviously. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Chat, uh, Angel, get you a hoodie like right now. You be making it too cold, man. But look at my face. I'm sweating. You know I can go into labor and shit if you keep making it hot. It's not good for a baby either. Babies, it needs to be at least seventy degrees. It can't be seventy-seven. Oh, a baby can overheat and die. Get into the shower and my hair is actually super, super curly right now. Look. You know a baby can overheat and die if you have it at 77, right? Like, that's not healthy. You need to learn to keep it cold. If you can't fucking keep it cold, put on a t-shirt or no, something. No, put it too cold, man. I don't give a fuck. You put it at 70, you put it at like 70 or 72, like, like no. you cold. You can put on clothes. I have all these damn blankets and shit. My normal temp. What's your normal temp? 68. Ew. Go put on. I'll buy you a coat. Like, right? She's so mean to you. Nah, I just change it, chat. I stay making it hot after when I get cold. Like, I get it's cold. It's really freezing sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Chat, recharge. Get a money gun, guys. Let's get a money gun. That's too low, right, Lucini? Sixty, but like, I get that you're hot and you're pregnant. But damn, we gotta meet somewhere in the middle, like seventy. I know I'm too hot. Seventy-eight. Angel with the boo. I'd freeze. 73 is perfect, right? That's like outside weather. Chat, come on. Double tap my screen. Drop on her, drop on her. Let's catch up. I need to eat a blanket at this point, huh? Maria, what are you talking about? I pay bills. It's our apartment. It's not her apartment. You got me fucked up. Don't say stupid shit like that. Y'all double tap my screen and share the live, y'all. Mine's on 80 right now. Um, 80, what the fuck? You got problems, bro. Why you got it like an oven in there? Tap the screen, tap the screen, tap the screen, tap the screen. Snipe, snipe. What's wrong with you? Why you got a long face? I'm miserable. It's not you. I'm not upset over him. I'm over upset over the internet. I don't even want to be on live today. I just hate these thoughts that I get about myself. Like, it's not healthy, the thoughts I have about myself. Like, I genuinely like my body and my face, and, like, like, I've never felt this way about myself, ever. Like, I feel, like, not cute, and I feel, like, gross, and I just don't like myself. It's just because everyone on the internet, like, I, I can't do it anymore.
bro, I was literally sleeping and, like, these grown-ass men were holding panels about me. Like, I get that I was a bad person in the past and I've said fucked up shit before, but, like, I just want to be a good person. Why can't people just leave me alone and keep bringing the bad out of me? Like, I want to be a good person. I just want to be a mom. I want to fucking just live my life. Like, why do people keep bringing the worst out of me? Why can't you let me develop and be a better person? Why do you sit and talk about me? I'm literally bl- I'm blocking everyone in that fucking group of people. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I can't. I said this before, and then I ended up battling them again, and then I got fucking caught up in drama again after I stopped. I was literally sleeping, and I wake up to all these text messages, screen recordings, all this shit. Like, people are asking me what's going on. Like, they're comparing pictures of me to ogres and stuff. And I'm just like, dude, like, I want to be a better person. I don't want to be a bad person. Like, oh, well, Allison deserves it. She's a bad person. I've done fuck shit in the past, but, like, I've dead ass been trying to cool off of that. The only time I ever do stuff to people nowadays is if they try me first. Straight up. And, like... I can't do anything. If I go up and defend myself, I'm going to get out of character and then I'm going to be canceled again. Allison's such a bully. Allison's the bad guy. <sighs> like, people don't understand my heart. I'm a good fucking person. I just, I'm not, I guess I'm just not happy with myself. I don't know what it is. I've all, I've been this way my whole life. I've always been the fucking, like, like, I always stick out like a sore thumb. Like, I've always been the troublemaker in school. I've always been the one to, like, get out of character. And I feel like no one understands my heart. I don't care. I just feel like I fucked my whole life up. And, like, I was really fucking pissed off at myself. Because, like, I wanted to have cute maternity pictures and these cute pictures. And all these people keep comparing me to people who was pissing me off the whole time while I was getting my pictures taken. He kept saying, like, oh, Kayla and Coco are going to do this next. I don't give a fuck who does it next, bro. Why are you taking my day away from me, everyone? I didn't say anything about anyone. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the one to get the backlash. And then everyone's comparing me to other girls and stuff because he kept bringing them up. Like, (sighs) I try to be nice to other people, but people get me out of character. They want to see me. They want to see me in drama because I guess I can be funny. You turned the temperature back up. No, I didn't. I went and got some water. I'm just sad because how come I try to become a better person all the time and then people just reel me back into uh, shit for me? People are I feel just. Like I always try and be a good person. You know I'm not a bad person, but people bring the worst out of me. They trigger me. They say things mean about me, and then I take five steps forward, and then they say shit, and then I take ten steps back. Like I don't think I'm a bad person. I don't think I'm a mean person. And then people just bring it out of me, and then once they get it out of me. They feel the right to sit there, compare me to ogres, all this stuff. Like, I don't understand why I'm having group discussions about me. I'm literally 21 years old. I'm pregnant. I'm trying to fucking grow up. And I can't grow up if you guys keep bringing the negative out of me. Like, I've done fucked up shit in the past. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I have. I literally have. I'm not, I have not been a good person before. But I think I have a good heart. Why is it envious? Do guys fly? is envious he literally stalks me and allison all the time he talks about me being lower income like yes i would love to fucking get hundreds of dollars handed to me every day i would fucking love that yes but i don't want to milk people every day and beg them and and threaten getting off of live like i would never sit there and be like oh i'm gonna get off live if i don't fucking get my pumpkins if i don't get my galaxy i'm getting the fuck off right now I would not do that to you guys. Why do you stop supporting Fly? Y'all because, some sick. No, it's not even that. I'm not telling anyone to not to support anyone. That's not my business. You can support whoever the fuck you want to support. Yeah, but stupid. I'm saying you're sitting there coming at me for living in an apartment and I don't have nice cars. I'm not luxurious. I'm broke. I don't think I'm broke. The best I, revenge is happiness. At least for happiness and not uh, just like... I make a good amount of money for my my age. I'm very happy where I'm at. I'm, I'm, I'm running a business. I'm starting my own business. 
Christmas. I have my own merch. I'm going out to a factory on Thursday to print out your guys' orders. Like, I'm proud as fuck. Double tap my screen to show the live, y'all. Like, I would consider myself somewhat happy. Like, I am depressed, but, like, I can be happy. Like, I don't have the shittiest life. I have a roof over my head. I have food in my belly. Like, it's not bad. I have an okay life. Like, I, I can't complain. Like, it's not a point where, like, it's not a point where, like, you know, I'm on the streets. I'm down bad as fuck. Like, I can make ends meet. Take sure. talk to your room. What did you say? Sure, I don't have a luxury and all this shit, but, like, I, I, I have something. I have stability somewhat. They said, uh, Kristen Nicole said, Fly, Wingo, Chris, Phoenix, Jabria, other guys, Bastion, you and Allison today. Look, I'm going to tell y'all straight how it is, guys. Fly is a jealous, envious mother, like, dude, bro. He I stalks. just don't know why he's so envious of me. He talks about me stalks all the time. All the fucking time, bro. And he just has some type of weird agenda towards why was I sleeping? Listen, I'm sleeping because I got my infusions today. I'm exhausted. Like, I was in the hospital all morning. And then I wake up and people are talking about me in panels, their opinions on Allison. Like, who gives a fuck about their opinion on me? If you think I'm such a bad person, don't fucking associate with me. Don't watch me. If you don't fuck with me, don't watch me. Let me grow as a person. Come back in a couple years and see how I'm doing then. I don't need you to follow me around on my journey. Because I know deep down I'm a good person. And I can take accountability with the things that I've done in the past. I know I've done fucked up shit in the past. He's lying about being great by his uncle. He didn't say that till now. Okay, that's not your place to say anything about. I'm reading a comment. Elizabeth, thank you. That's not place to say anything about. But... It's just like, I hate that they come from my stretch marks. And I also don't like that they keep calling me fat. Because yes, I have body shame people back before yes i have but i don't think it's right now because i've learned my like i've taken accountability and i've learned how it could affect someone and then i witnessed it firsthand now i don't think it's right for them to body shame me because there's women who are bigger who watch me there's women who are big like me there's women who are even bigger than me and watch me could you imagine how those other girls feel whenever they see them calling me fat and what if they come to us? What if they come to like fly for like an escape? You know, let's say they watch fly. They look up to him somehow, you know, like what if they get a kick and, and they find him amusing? How do you think it feels for their role model? Let's say fly is their role model somehow. I don't know how that could work. Let's say fly is their role model. He's calling me fat and coming at me for my stretch marks, right? How do you think that would make one of his gifters or one of his number one fans feel if they have stretch marks and they're as big as me, you know? I, I can't change what I've done in the past. I cannot, I cannot, I really can't. There's no erase button, there's no delete, there's no backspace. The only thing that I could do is change what I can do in the future. That's the only fucking thing I can do. I've said racist shit. I've said homophobic shit. I've said the most outlandish shit ever. Yes, I have. You can go read all about me. It's all over the internet. But I can change the future. Yo. What? I feel like you and him just got a crush on each other, and that's why he I talks about I don't have him. a crush on him. I mean, but he acts like he, he's always talking about you. like. But you know how I feel about him. I literally told you, whenever me and all of us, we went over to his house, he has a dark energy in his house. I don't know what it is. I do not know what it is, but whenever we walked into Fly and Kayla's apartment, I got this like darkness. It felt like there was like a dark cloud above me and I got my energy sucked from me and I was drained after we were done hanging out. Like, I don't know what they do or what it is, but after I hung out with them, I never felt that way after hanging out with people before. I usually am like, oh, period, like can't wait. Like whenever I hung out with Anti and Kiara, I didn't feel drained. <laughs> I didn't feel weird after hanging out with Anti and Kiara, but once I left them, I felt so drained and I felt like I had this like, like my soul was gone. Like I just felt soulless. I felt just like, just disturbed.
Chad, no intention. Do you know what I mean? Did you feel that way too? <laughs> I mean, I don't really like give. I don't really like let people's energy, but like. No, them. it's weird though. Like I. We went to the beach with them. You know. you know they were being negative at the beach, right? Like, yeah, they're negative always. They're always arguing and shit. I'm, and then the energy was off, but the only time where the energy was really off was whenever we went to their apartment. It was like, as soon as you walked into their premises... You didn't feel like peace in there. It wasn't like peace, for sure. No. It was like, it felt weird. I don't know. Like, I've never hung out with somebody and felt that way. Mm -hmm. Afterwards. And it was scary. And I've, I've told Tony about it. Like, it's just really scary the way I felt. Chad, but instead of supporting Fly, I need to go get a hoodie from my bio, from my website. I don't think that Kiara and Anti were bad energy, though, whenever we hung out with them. And Check wasn't bad energy. I didn't feel the way after hanging out with Check and his girl and Anti and his girl. Afterwards, I didn't feel the same type of draining that I felt after hanging out with Flying Kayla. You know? You know how I'm like always like happy. I'm always like a carefree person. I'm very happy. I'm always like hyper. I didn't feel that way around them. Like you notice my energy around them was like sad. Like I felt miserable. I don't really remember, to be honest. I don't know. I think they have some demonic energy, though. Chad, I'm trying to get an order for today. Somebody click the link in my bio and go get a hoodie from my website. Probably felt uncomfortable. Go get some merch. The I pumpkins are right here, y'all. Look, the pumpkin. Oh, my God. They took the pumpkins away? No, they didn't. I think they what? did. This gift is unavailable. What? It took Not the pumpkins away. No. All I know is that Fly, all he does is talk about no. Allison and me just to get attention and views. And um, then he'll try to be cool with us later on. He's like a clout chaser as well. But, uh, and uh, all the people that support him are weird, bro. Honestly. I genuinely think, and this is me studying, I think that people sometimes relate with me but they can't like me because of things i've done in the past like they feel very wishy-washy about me so whenever they see people talking about me they're going to want to tune in and see what they got to say jpack thank you so like my name it brings views i think it does andrea thank you i'm a very controversial topic um before he started talking about me he had like 1.2k and then he started talking about me he went up to 2k and I feel like that made people want to tune in. Like, what did Allison do to be talked about? But this time I didn't do anything. I was literally sleeping. Mm -hmm. You don't have sweatshirts available on your website. Only t-shirts, someone said. That's cap. I do got uh, sweaters. Shirts available. I don't know if so, the comments below. You have no sweaters. Right, click the link in my bio. I'm going to tell Cora. Your right website now. is only showing shirts, nice. no sweatshirts. Click only the shirts. Link in my bio. Go. Can go. you guys go to my website as well, you guys? Uh, if you want to watch me press your t shirt, I'll kiss it for you and everything. I'll give you a nice little note. Go to my website. Get yourself a hoodie. Rent stew. I have the cutest merch, you guys. Seriously. I have the cutest merch ever. Look how cute this is. I am actually ordering myself one of these. It's like an eviction notice, but it says rent still. I have pink on pink. I have Avani hoodie, so if you want to support the makeup company, and then I have plain rent still, which is what no, I want. So, let me go check, y'all. So. Let me go check. But anyway, somebody go get y'all a shirt. We go to 3X. Extra small to 3X. I do sell lashes. I might be throwing in some lashes with some people's order. What are y'all talking about, guys? I see both of the items right there. It's probably out of stock. Click on the hoodie. It's not out of stock at all. It Click would say out of stock. Click on it. Look. That's a car. Rent's new hoodie is in my bio on Avani oh, website. Yeah. It's on the Avani website, the same website that I sell my makeup. So if you want to get a hoodie and have me... Make it in a video. Guys, at, go at refresh the, the page. Maybe you need warehouse. Different. Make sure you guys yeah, get yourself a hoodie. My bio, when I get paid, I will appear. Oh yeah, y'all gotta go to Thank my you. Insta link. Go to. 
Go to my. They're Instagram. lying. It's all on there. Okay. Click the link in my bio, y'all, and go get you a hoodie, bro. Stop. Yes, on lashes are on my website. I have brow pencils on my website, and I also have a makeup palette Amber, on my website. Click the link in my People bio were wondering. And get a hoodie, Amber. Amber, get you a hoodie right now. No, that's not the freaking. That's not the website. Oh no! Wait, y'all have to. It's viewingworld.com, chat. Viewingworld.com. Not here. Not this link. Viewingworld.com, bro. Not the link on this page. Viewingworld.com. That's where you go. My bad. You gotta go to viewingworld.com, chat. It's the wrong one. Y'all going to the wrong. He's got to go to viewworld.com. Look. Nikki, you about to go get a hoodie. I appreciate you, love. Literally, um, I got some of the orders that have been made throughout the few days right here. Shirt. Um, I got some hoodies. I got more orders landing tomorrow. You heard me? I got more orders landing tomorrow. So go place your orders, bro. I got more orders landing tomorrow. Just keep placing them. I will package them all and they will go out. Appreciate y'all so much, man. Oh, God. Thank y'all for shopping, y'all. Click the link in my bio. We need to get some orders right now, bro. Nikki, you about to get a, a hoodie? Mwah. Hannah Christine, go get a hoodie right now, love. Show some love. My hair is gorgeous. My second offense of um, driving without a license. So I have another ticket to pay. Hopefully I don't go to jail. Do you guys think I'm gonna go to jail? I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna get a ticket to pay. <sighs> and then after I'm getting my hair done. Getting my hair done. No, it, I got it right before my birthday in August. Getting my hair done tomorrow. Did you get arrested? No. This this time was in August. This was before I went to jail. And it was my second offense. And uh, I guess they sent me a summons, but I didn't get it in the mail. Which, what's up with me not getting this mail? I need 60 points. I have a license now. I have a license. After I paid a bunch of fines. Andrea, thank you. Bree, thank you. I have a license now, though. Bree, thank you. Tony, thank you. PA logs don't look good for... Do you guys think I'm gonna go to jail? I don't think I'm gonna go to jail. This is my second offense. I'm scared. Am I gonna go to jail? Are they just gonna give me a ticket? No, they don't bleach my hair. This is my... Has anyone ever had a second offense, like, driving without a license? Bree, thank you guys. Doubles. Christian, thank you. Love you. No jail time only fine. Okay. I don't want to go back to jail. What if I had a third offense of driving without a license? Like, what if I get my license taken away and then I get caught again? Christian, thank you. P Mama, thank you. Will they take your license? I put in an appeal and my lawyer said it should be coming. Like, I shouldn't get it suspended. I think. So he told me. He told me it's probably not going to get suspended again. Hopefully not. Why don't you have your license? Because they always be taking it if I don't pay the turnpike shit. They always take my license without me knowing because they send it to my dad's address. And it's always because I don't pay the fucking tolls. And they take my license away and I don't even know. So they'd be pulling me over. I give them my license. Like, did you know it's suspended? No, I didn't know it was fucking suspended. 
turnpike what is that the pull the tolls turnpike if you go on it without like paying it off they'll take your license literally <laughs> they don't take your license for not paying a toll yes they do do you live in pennsylvania they took my license for not paying a toll multiple times i've had my license suspended over eight times i had to pay 200 dollars each time to get it back actually i think 90 dollars to get it back every single time pay the easy six bucks uh tools are not six dollars babe to get to dc it's at least 250 easy dc and back that's at least 250 i went to new york city one time it was like 375 to get to new york city that shit is expensive it's just not cheap. Yeah, I owed like $4,000 in tolls. 